very big welcome to the author's studio to my next guest, Bob Dawes, who's going from acting words to writing words. Bob is a familiar face to many of you in the UK for his numerous film and television appearances, and he also is co-starred as Victor Smiley in my stage play, The Perfect Murder. He's writing crime novels set in a really unusual location, the Rock of Gibraltar. And I have to tell you, this guy is mighty good. And I think you'll find some great things that he has to say. The best writing tip I know is just to finish. Um, I, you must hear that an awful lot, but it's true. I mean, you start the day and actually finish it. The Rock. Uh, which is the uh, a crime novella which I've written, which is a, uh, uh, a crime procedural murder mystery set in Gibraltar uh, uh, with the Royal Gibraltar Police Force. Um, why? Because I've known Gibraltar for 25 years uh, and I've seen it change and uh, I've seen the, the, the whole place uh, sort of go from being a garrison town to being this extraordinary, uh, uh, small, extraordinary, um, uh, different uh, part of the world, uh, quite unique in many ways, and I thought it was an excellent place to set a, a, a murder mystery. I write uh, all day, really. Um, in the morning, I recap on uh, work that I've done the day before, and in the afternoon, I try and do some, fr uh, well, I do do some fresh uh, writing, uh, for better or for worse, which I revise and, and edit the next day. I love Peter James's books. Uh, I think he's uh, one of the best crime writers in the world uh, and, uh, and is a very inspiring man. It's not just his writing, it's the way he approaches the whole uh, business of, of crime writing and writing in general. I think he's a great ambassador for uh, the crime writing world. Um, uh, Joe Nesbo, I'm very uh, fond of, of Ahmed Dermid, uh, I think is absolutely uh, tri terrific also. My guilty pleasure is random episodes of the West Wing with a couple of Rivitas and peanut butter. That's organic, crunchy. Um, uh, in the middle of the day, I'll just treat myself to an episode in this year of the, these strange and extraordinary uh, American elections. I, I seek comfort in uh, the West Wing. Yes, I do. I get up, I read the, the paper online, um, I read uh, um, I read the stage, actually, because I'm an actor as well as a writer. Uh, I, I check my mails, I get on top of all of those, uh, and uh, make sure the girls go to school, uh, and that's all right. So, yes, it's sort of domestic um, uh, rituals um, with uh, the uh, morning information flooding in. No, not really. I mean, I didn't really think about it until a, a, a couple of years ago. Um, I've been an actor for 38 years, um, and I've always uh, enjoyed writing, and I've done television work and radio work. And, uh, a few years ago, about 10 years ago now, I co-created a, a detective series for BBC Radio called Truman and Riley, which uh, with Brian B. Thompson, and uh, that ran very successfully. And I played Truman um, and uh, uh, Duncan Preston, the lovely actor Duncan Preston, he played Riley, so we had a lot of fun with that. So I've been involved with writing and writers for a very long time. In fact, most of my friends are writers. Um, so the idea of actually getting around to writing a novel uh, came late to me, but um, I'm just completing my third now, so um, I'm I'm quite excited about the whole thing. Planning a book. Uh, well, usually I've had the idea for the story, I've made copious notes, um, and I begin by actually getting those notes together and I plan a, a treatment. Um, it's the approach that, that I had when I was working uh, on television projects. Uh, and it's as detailed as I can possibly make it. Um, and. Uh, I fill it with as much possible information as I possibly can uh, and just tell the overall st story as I see it. Um, it's always open to big changes and, and very often that's the case, but it's, it's, the, it's the starting template. Um, and I try to follow it as much as I possibly can. I, I go off piste uh, very often and, and you, you, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but basically the central uh, story uh, remains pretty much the same. 
as a writer, as an actor, it's how do you learn all those lines, which is a fairly obvious one. Um, as a writer, uh, I, where do you get your ideas from? <laughs> uh, uh, do you know what? I, uh, 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 a very, very strange imagination. <laughs> Computer says no moment. Um, yeah, I have, uh, which is, is, is just, you know, awful. I mean, it's a first world problem. But uh, I think even worse than you losing it on the computer is when someone that you love uh, does it for you. Uh, and that's awful. My, my daughter managed to, uh, she was watching a, some um, program, film, promo, pop mu music, and managed to wipe about two weeks' work uh, last year. And she was so distraught about it. So that was two of us in a terrible state. She got it back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the brilliant Bob Dawes, and, and I bet quite a number of you will recognise his face, eh?